It's absolutely massive, isn't it? I wasn't expecting it to be like this. Um, the fact that it's in a football stadium uh, is kind of a huge clash of interests for me. I'm finding it all a bit strange with branded apples being thrown at you and then trying to deal with people that islands are sinking at the same time. It's <laughs> all a bit much to deal with. Um, but also, I think, within the youth participation, there's amazing energy, which is exciting. And I've, I've been quite taken aback by it. I wasn't really expecting it. So it's, and it's really exciting and invigorating. So it's amazing to be part of it. Yeah, and, and on what's been the, the focus of the, um, the UK Youth Climate Coalition the past couple of days? What, what issue areas have you really been um, pushing on? Um, well, we're all involved in different things, different working groups, um, but particularly we've got, our, we've got our own side event coming up on Friday um, about divestment out of the fossil fuel industry, um, which we're working on at the moment and just finalising, and which is looking to be really exciting and something that we really want to push the message out. Um, from, there's all sorts of various divestment campaigns all over the world going on, and quite a few starting off in the UK, um, and we're really keen to promote that and get people thinking and actually get the fossil fuel and people that are sponsoring this weird event to come along and listen to what we've got to say. And uh, I guess at the start of this particular summit there's been a lot of focus on the, um, the uh, typhoon in, in the Philippines and um, one of the negotiators has uh, gone on a, uh, a fast for the rest of the conference. I think unless he sees some, um, some definitive um, Action. What, what have you guys made of that? How have you been sort of interacting with, with different delegations and, and the um, people pushing on, on Typhoon Haiyan? Well, um, as the UK, but also as Young Go, the young uh, people at, here at COP, um, we're standing in solidarity with him and with the um, Filipino delegation, sorry. Um, a lot of us were there during, at the plenary when he gave his speech and it was emotional and it really brought home just how serious it is now for, for people of our, of our generation, um, of generations to come, that have, their, their homes are being destroyed and there's nothing they can do about it. There's, surely this is the place that we have something to do about it. Um, so we're standing in solidarity with them and um, a lot of our members are joining him in, in his fast um, to push negotiators for some concrete progress. And what kind of impact do you, do you think, um, do you uh, suspect, I guess, from talking to friends back home and looking at social media, what kind of impact does this have, have back at home? Um, at home, I think people are starting to listen. Um, I've, not personally, but other members of the delegation have come and said how surprised they were that people who are completely unconnected with the movement have come forward and said, I've heard about what's going on um, at COP, and that's amazing, it means we're people that are at, like remotely, remotely connected to this are being drawn in, um, which is only good for building the movement and putting more pressure on.